One year ago, on July 13, 2010, the President fulfilled the pledge to the HIV community by releasing the nation's first comprehensive national HIV AIDS strategy. This has been a large step forward, taking a strategic look at all the things that have been working in the fight against HIV and focusing on three key goals to improve our efforts to stop the spread of HIV, now entering its 30th year. I can remember very clearly my first encounter with the uh, first recognition that we were dealing with a new situation here 30 years ago. It scared me. And that summer began for the world and for me the era of the HIV AIDS pandemic, which we're now in our 30th year. In the United States, um, HIV remains a serious public health concern. The research that we've gotten in just the last year tells us that if we have a strategic approach to addressing HIV in this country and globally, we can begin to move towards ending the HIV epidemic. And what I see is the president's attempt is to really get a handle on all of these barriers that are in the community that prevent us from really getting to the majority of people who are now becoming infected with HIV. You know, for many years, many of us have demanded a strategy, and we're awfully glad that we have one now. Reducing new HIV infections, improving care for people living with HIV AIDS, narrowing health disparities. These are the central goals of our national strategy, and it requires all of us to look inward, to ask not only how we can end this scourge, but also how we can root out the inequities and the attitudes on which this scourge thrives. I mean, people, it's hard to say HIV. They don't know what they're supposed to say next. The first time we have a plan. You have um, a more open dialogue to address those issues, and, um, and you have people, more importantly, living longer. When I first started seeing patients, the median survival of individuals who came in with advanced disease was like six or seven months. Now, if that same person, 20-year-old, comes in newly infected and I start him or her on therapy, you can predict they would live an additional 50 years. So that's a major advance. So we've got everything on the table now to really start thinking about bringing this epidemic to an end. And that's the real challenge to policymakers and to everybody who's engaged in this effort, including the public, to recognize the opportunity we've got in front of us. The vision for this strategy is that the United States will become a place where new HIV infections are rare, and when they do occur, all persons, regardless of age, gender, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, gender identity, or socioeconomic circumstance has unfettered access to high quality, life-extending care free from stigma and discrimination. We are looking to demand much higher accountability for health education and we were happy to see that the implementation plan of the strategy includes a part on making sure that health education is higher quality and that we're doing what science says is the best to do. It talks about what the goals are and explains where we need to go to get our arms around this epidemic with the ultimate goal, which we're now starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel, which we weren't able to do just several years ago, is that ultimately to control and hopefully end the AIDS pandemic within a reasonable period of time. You know, really getting the family, the churches, the individuals to understand what HIV is and how does it impact us and how does good care, good treatment really support the individual. It's just acknowledging that it's an infection and that we can do something about it and we don't have to blame the individuals who have become infected. It's great to see that conversations are, are happening um, across the lines of organizations and entities and individuals who have um, historically not been a part of the conversation. I recommend that if people want to learn more about this that they uh, take a look at the National HIV AIDS Strategy which is uh, accessible uh, on the internet by just going to AIDS.gov. The strategy is and has been a great rallying cry but it takes all of us. Staying committed to fighting HIV in our own communities, getting tested and taking steps to lower our own risk of acquiring HIV, working to support people living with HIV and ending stigma and discrimination, encouraging policymakers to ensure that funding reaches the communities at greatest risk, and that we're investing in the most effective programs and doing everything we can to end the HIV epidemic in this country. For more resources or to follow our work, go to www.aids.gov.